Let's convert the decimal 0 0.38 to a fraction. So first off, let's do this. Let's make it 0 0.38 over 1. It's still equal to 0 0.38. It's just we put it over 1. Dividing by 1 doesn't change the value, just the way it's represented. So we have the start of a fraction. Now we need to get this 0 0.38 to a whole number. So I can see we have one, two decimal places. When you have two decimal places, you can multiply by 100. That'll make this a whole number. So we multiply the numerator by 100. 100 times 0 0.38, that equals 38. So we have a whole number. But we can't just multiply the numerator by 100. We also have to multiply the denominator. Because 100 divided by 100, that's 1. So we're only multiplying by 1. We don't change the value, just the way it's represented. So 100 times 1, that is 100. So now we have our fraction. But we can simplify this to lower terms. Let's give ourselves some room. So we could divide 38 and 100 by 2, both of them by 2 since they're even numbers. 38 divided by 2, that's 19. 100 divided by 2, that's 50. So we've simplified 38 over 100 down to 19 over 50. We can't simplify this any further. If you divide 19 by 50 or 38 by 100, you'll end up with a decimal 0 0.38. It's just that these are in fraction form. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.